Hello everyone, apologies for the stark background but I've moved location just a few meters down in the living room. I'm now in the corner where hopefully today or tomorrow my Christmas tree will be erected and I'll be making a separate video of the erection for you to admire. Um, it's just the same as last year's Christmas tree so spoiler alert, I've got nothing new to show you but it still looks very nice. It's Monday the 5th of December 2022 and it's time for another Advent Reveal. So it's three calendars to open today because there's no sock calendar because there's only 12 as you know. Stay tuned till the end because we're finally going to give the lady in the Playmobil house a name and I've had a few suggestions and if you've suggested a name for the lady you might get mentioned in this video, so that's going to be exciting for you. So without any further ado, let's start with the uh, Molten Brown calendar, I think. Also, apologies if you can hear my washing machine in the background. It's just behind that partition wall. Yes, laundry doesn't stop, even for Advent. Okie dokie, it's Molten Brown time. And again, I've not had a look to see where number five is. Oh, I've just spotted it just down here at the bottom. So let's reveal what's inside drawer number five for the 5th of December. Ooh. Oh, a smaller bottle today. And uh, what is it? Vibrant bathing, oh, I thought it looked a bit, bit different, bit of a different sort of consistency. It's actually a bathing oil. Yes, in this little bottle, we have 45 milliliters or 1.5 fluid ounces of delicious rhubarb and rose vibrant bathing oil. I'll just give it a bit of a sniff. Careful not to spill it on the carpet. Hmm, I think it's, yes, there's a hint of rhubarb. The, the first smell I get is the rose, which is not something I'm keen on smelling of. But after you get the initial whiff of rose, you get that rhubarb, something again. I don't mind the smell of rhubarb in Molten Brown, but I certainly don't like the taste of it. Ugh, yuck. You have to put tons and tons of sugar on rhubarb to make it palatable. So there we go, that's a bit different, a bathing oil. Do you just pour it, it doesn't say what you do, so I'm assuming you just pour it into the bath like you would um, a bubble bath or something. So there we go, so that's today's Molten Brown treat. Delicious rhubarb and rose vibrant bathing oil. Next up is the KWB Germany tool advent calendar and again foolish me I didn't check where number five is but I've spotted it I did say these are quite difficult to get open and I wasn't going to cut my nails but foolishly I've cut my nails I forgot all about needing some longer nails to get into these calendars but I'll give it a go I'll poke my finger in and rip number five open here we have number five very close to this lady's breast so I'm gonna be very careful entering number five. I don't want any lawsuits. So um, I don't think anyone would ever believe I housed a woman. So I think I'll be okay. Right, let's... Ugh. Oh, it's so... Oh, I'm terribly sorry, love. What is this lady concealing behind her breast? Well, she's concealing... Ah, another piece, another socket set piece, another chromium vandium piece, but unlike the first one I showed you, this one is a six millimeter. Oh, and that's fallen over. It doesn't stand up on its own, that calendar. That's probably why you could hang it on the wall. I need to sort of lean it against the wall there. So yes, we've got a six millimeter bit thing here. And that's marvelous, isn't it? Ready to go inside the case. Right, here we go. So I think this one is a five millimeter, is it? Let's just double check. Ooh, once you put them in, they're quite hard to get out. Yes, that's a five millimeter. So I'm going to put six millimeter next to it. 
I think they're supposed to go, I don't know what way they're supposed to go. Maybe, I, may, I, don't, I think I'll put them the other way up actually. And then I can see, just about see the sizes. So there we go, nestled next to its younger and smaller sibling, or older sibling, because that was, that came out of the calendar first. So there we are. So can you see how the excitement is going to build over these next weeks? on the advent calendar looking a bit empty at the moment but as i said at the end of the series that will be full of useful tools okay well it's on to the exciting playmobil advent house let's have a look what's going to be joining our little lady it's time to add to the playmobil house now and what the heck's been going on here what can you explain yourself, dear? Oh, looking for, oh, it's okay. She's looking, she's looking for a contact lens, everyone. Well, I'm afraid we can't appear. You can't appear in your dirty purple knickers, can you, in front of the, the viewing public. So let's get your dress back on. I have found out, folks, that the lady here, she can't sit down with a dress on. So if, she, if, I, if I was to allow her to sit down on the chair, she'd have to be sitting down like that. Because as soon as you bend her legs, bent her knees, uh, her dress falls off, which is a good party trick, I suppose, but it's not appropriate. It's not appropriate for the video. Shall I show you what happens? There, she, look, she's got a lovely Christmas dress on. I'm off to a Christmas party. Yes, I'm hoping to get lucky. Ooh, I'm itching for um, a baby sham. Um, so if, if this lady goes to the party, Boom, boom, boom. Hello, I'm her. I'm here at the party. And she goes and sits down. Oops, she split her skirt. Look at that. Look, look, that's what happens. And that's what happens in real life, folks. So watch yourself over Christmas. Don't eat too much food because you don't want to be splitting your skirt, do you? Now, we're going to have to name this lady here. And um, I've had a few suggestions. So I'm going to read them out to you. So Teresa, who's mummy to Ben, who's playing along by opening his calendar at the same time. Hello again, Ben. Now, Teresa says, we have named our lady Esther. Ben has suggested Enid, Opal or Bernice for your lady with a particular fondness for Enid. We're so excited to spend the month opening this calendar with you. Well, I'm glad you're joining me opening it and anyone else who may be opening it with me. Teresa did get, I did sneakily tell Teresa what the Playmobil calendar I would be opening so she could get one in time. So from, from Ben and Teresa, we have Enid. That's a suggestion. From Elliot and Matt, Elliot says, I think the lady is Maureen and she's definitely expecting male company with those purple knickers and red lippy. Well, I think she got some male company last night looking for your contact lens. <laughs> Pull the other one. So there we go. So we've got uh, Maureen. Mandy. Mandy is sister to Sue, my two very first captive audiences. I've mentioned them many times before. Some of the older, older videos I've got were actually made for Sue and Mandy long before YouTube and the Internet existed. So Mandy says, I love the Playmobil. I love the way you bring... Bring it to life and add funny details about the woman. She needs a name. I think she's got the look of a young Julie Goodyear. She she does look a bit like a young Julie Good, Goodyear or Bet Lynch from The Rover's Return. I'm currently enjoying older Coronation Streets. I started a few months ago watching Coronation Street from 1980. I think I'm in 1991 now and it's a whole lot better than the rubbish they put on at the moment. All soaps are rubbish now, aren't they? So, Mandy, well, Julie or Bet, I think because of the beehive, Bet. And then the final suggestion, and I think the first suggestion was from Joy, I think it's Joy Machine. Can you call her Tracy? Simple and to the point. Well, thank you for all your suggestions. I'm going to take one of them. And the name that this lady is going to be called and it's mainly down to the white stilettos she is a tracy she is an essex girl 
She's Tracy. Tracy! She could have been a Sharon, but she's a Tracy. And the name of Tracy is going to help determine what I'm going to call some of the other characters, because I know there's some more people coming. Because Tracy's very lonely. She's a party girl. She doesn't like being alone. I mean, there's only so much one can do with a makeup table, mirror, a chair, and some uh, lipstick. You know, she's had five days on her own. Well, four days. On the fifth day, let's hope she's joined by someone to talk to. So, for now, Chai Sai, you're going back there. And we're going to. Oh, I've not. I've knocked her. I've knocked her. Uh, Doodars on the floor, we'll pick those up later. So we need number five. Um, mm -hmm, here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's a medium one. It's medium. Come on then. Let's see what's behind window number five. Oh, oh. Don't think you're going to be talking to this, Trace. Sorry about that. Looks like it's going to be some more furniture. There's this. Ah, well, you've got you've got a different you've got a wig you can try on a hat and a handbag. Is that it? Oh, I was hoping to introduce Tracy to a friend, but no, she's just got more stuff. Here we have some sort of shelving unit, and it looks quite versatile. It'll go both ways, so you can have it this way horizontal, or this way vertical makes no odds you can do it either it does have the branding on the bottom so i think we'll we'll stick it horizontally for now and on the top we can put various bits and pieces so we have this head it's not a bust is it this camera won't focus it's not a bust it's just a, a head a head with no face and onto that head with no face we've got uh, a a wig piece I can clip on if I can just do it hang on I'll put the the shelf down and then we'll see if we can click the wig in oh there we go that's putting it in the wrong way can't see anything folks too close is it going to focus in or is it focusing on the back so that there we've got a little sort of a spare wig so the blonde can become a dark haired lady we can put a hat on too in another video I think we'll change Tracy we'll give her we'll see what she looks like with dark hair maybe more sophisticated who knows we have also got a lovely little hand a handbag for Tracy a handbag and um, oh that get that oops that belongs to the hat I think so that's not really, this is more of a daytime hat, I'd say. That's more for going out, going out for, I don't know, tea at John Lewis. I've put the hat on up accidentally back to front. Hang on a minute. That bit goes behind, doesn't it, folks? Hang on. Oh, there we, there we are. That's more of a, yes, yeah, it's um, sort of a going out for tea. Mm. And then we've got the nice little bag and... Um, could be a pearl necklace it's not really white actually no that's crystal that's a crystal necklace I wonder if that fits around let me just put that down I'm wondering if that fits on the head oh it does right focus please there we go so that's some sort of display it's almost like a shop display but I don't think it's a shop I don't know what this is it could be a shop I'm not sure. We'll have to see if there's a cash register coming up. I think that's everything for today. So we need to place this. I think I'll keep everything. No, I'm going to put this downstairs, actually. We'll... Yes. We'll put that downstairs. And then uh, Tracy can't get to it unless I help her. So... Oh, that's a bit mean. All right, for now then, I might jigger it about. Jigger it? I might jiggle it about later when I get more stuff in. Once we get all the furniture in, we'll have a bit of a rearrangement. That handbag's going everywhere. Right, Trace, got something else for you to look at. Nice handbag and an hat. I'll just pop it there. No, no, I'll, put, I'll put it at an angle. We don't have to have everything leaning up against the wall. There we are. 
Oh, Tracy, your compact's gone on, on the floor. Oh, just hang on. There's not enough room on that uh, table for her makeup. There we are. I'll let you have a look at the handbag, actually, Tracy. Goes quite well with your green dress. Bit of a bit of a different shade of green, but it's fine. And then you can admire that little necklace. So Tracy's happy. I would have preferred her to have some company, but it's either company or a new handbag, and Tracy's gone for the new handbag. That's it for today. We've had the excitement of Tracy getting a new handbag and actually getting a name. So again, thank you to the people that suggested names and don't feel too bad if I didn't choose your name but really it was the white stilettos for me she has to be an Essex girl she is a trace trace I and um yes so we've we've done everything we've got the molten brown done the bathing oil and we've got a new socket bit to go inside the KWB tool case is getting very exciting. I don't know about you, I'm almost wetting myself with excitement over these calendars. It's, it's a joy to behold. And don't forget, tune in same time, same place on the 6th of December, when of course I'll be showing you another Molten Brown, another tool, another item for Trace, and because it's the 6th, I'll be showing you another pair of socks. So please join me then. I'll see you all very soon. I love you all, of course. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumb me up. Share me wide everywhere that you want to share me. I'm open. Just share my videos to anyone who you think will be sad enough to enjoy them. And um, I'll be off now. I have a feeling I'm going to be going up into the loft, bringing down all my Christmas decorations. Hopefully, because tomorrow I would like you to see me sat in front of something Christmassy. It's not very Christmassy at the moment, but it's only the 5th of December. I better shut up. I'm off. My washing needs to go in the tumble dryer. So whatever you're doing today, have a good one, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.